hey you guys what's up i know these videos have been long awaited so let's get into it before we start don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here welcome to the fam and let's get into it okay so for this cajun pot pie this jesus christ you guys this was so good i literally can't even talk but this was so good okay now i'm gonna start off with one half of a white onion i'm gonna just chop that up really nice you know you want to dice it up really small because you don't want any like i didn't want any big chunks of onion inside of this i just want most of it to um to cook off so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna chop that up really nice and small then i put that aside in a bowl next up i'm gonna go ahead and chop up some celery right here and I used about three, three, three stalks of celery, I wanna say. And what I did with the celery, I just like, I took the stalk and I just cut it in half and then I diced them down like that. And now I'm using one green bell pepper. Same thing, you wanna dice everything really nice and small for this pot pie. You don't wanna have any big chunks of anything really. Cause it's gonna take up too much space depending on the type of um the type of pan you're using you know like i was using a really small pan so i definitely didn't want too much of like one thing being taken up because it was so big and i went ahead also and i did a red pepper as well if you don't like peppers it's completely optional i just wanted like you know like the look of it really and now i'm gonna take my red potatoes and i'm just gonna dice those up you guys, I keep forgetting to add like my um <laughs> my non-slip pad underneath uh, my cutting board, so it shifts most of the time. But I do have one here. I know you guys recommended it from my first couple of videos, so I did get one, but I just keep forgetting to use it. And with my red potatoes, I'm just wanna I just wanna make sure, like I said, cut up everything really nice and small to be about bite size. Basically, you don't want it to take up too much space now we're gonna take those red potatoes and add them to a pot of boiling water and we're gonna cook those off for about i want to say 15 minutes till they're very soft like you want it not to the texture that you would use um to make like mashed potatoes but just a little bit like you know like just with like a little bit of texture to them still now we're gonna take our shrimp. I had colossal size shrimp, so I was just chopping them down a little bit. The cuts don't have to be perfect on that. And I'm just gonna use my Cajun sausage right here. Um, I forgot the brand as usual, but I get these from Publix. And I'm gonna add it in the description below. These are my favorite sausages right here. They're so good, well seasoned, everything. They're amazing and they're a little bit spicy too, which I love. Now this is everything. Like, this recipe really works well if you prep yourself from prior to. So I just prepped everything and I just put it inside of my bowls. Now I'm using half a stick of butter and I'm just gonna cook off those vegetables. So I'm adding in my half of that onion, all of my bell peppers and my celery as well. I also added in about a teaspoon of garlic. You can add more if you want to, but I would recommend starting with um, just a, a full teaspoon. Now I'm just gonna cook those off on about a medium to high heat. You don't wanna go too high because then the garlic is gonna burn. So medium to high and making sure that I'm stirring really well in between. Now in the meantime, my potatoes were finished, so I'm just gonna drain off all of that water. And I just literally just leave them inside of the strainer for this part. I Once all the water is gone, I strain it off and just I just set it back down inside of the pot. Now all of my veggies are cooked off right here. Everything is nice and translucent. I'm gonna go ahead and add in one fourth cup of flour. I use regular all-purpose flour. And I'm just gonna mix that up really nice. Make sure that I'm getting all of the flour that's to the bottom. And I just let it cook off for about i want to say like three minutes right now i lowered my heat um on my stove it was about a five six so i would say medium not medium to high anymore just regular medium and i'm gonna go ahead and add in one cup 
of heavy cream. I added it in half a cup at a time because I wanted to build it up and then add in more, basically. It takes longer if you just throw in like the whole cup and I wanted to move a little bit faster so I did a half a cup at a time. So mix that up. Like I said, my heat was on like a medium right about now. So I'm just taking my time right here adding in the rest of that heavy cream that was the other half a cup and i'm just gonna mix that up really nicely making sure that everything has just started to thicken up here and take your time with this part there's no need to rush if you need it to be on a lower heat that's fine because this process does move a little quicker now these are the seasonings I use on top of my shrimp. You can always screenshot that right there. I'm also gonna add them down in the description below as usual for you guys. And I wanna say I use about um, a teaspoon, like an actual teaspoon measuring spoon of each um, seasoning here. I didn't want it to be too crazy. And I know some of you guys were asking where I got my seasoning bottles from. I got them from Amazon. I'm going to add them to um, my Amazon list um, coming up really soon. So by the time this posted, it should be on my Amazon list. Now I'm just adding in all of my seasonings to that shrimp. And then once everything is in, I'm just going to mix it up. This step right here is um, it's optional, it's up to you. I like to have my seafood seasoned before I put it in, but honestly, if you wanna just add it to the pot and then just season up the, um, the, 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 <laughs> oh my God, why can't I talk today, guys? If you wanna just season up the, the actual mixture itself, that's fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in some vegetable stock. I use about half a cup. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix that in really, really, really nice. Um, if you want it to be a lot thicker, I would just say use about one fourth of a cup. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in those cooked off potatoes. Making sure that I'm covering everything really, really nice. And right now it's just going to be like a dumping fiesta. So I'm, I'm going to dump in my shrimp. I use two different types of crab. I use... Um, some claw meat and then I use some lump crab meat and I got those from Publix as well and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my sausage what you guys didn't see was that I also squeezed in one lime to the mixture as well because we want to tame the freshness of some of that seafood now I'm gonna go ahead and use my pie crisp hair this is optional you can make pie crisp from scratch but I really didn't have the type of time to do that so we're gonna be using Pillsbury um, pie crust. Fake it till you make it, you know? Now, I sprayed some pan spray on top of my pie dish. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put in that pie crust in there. I'm just gonna make it sure that I'm tucking it into all of the corners. So keep in mind with the pie crust, um, I took it out about five minutes before i started working with it because i don't want it to be too cold and i also don't want it to be too warm because then it's just gonna tear so like i said just make sure you take your time with this part um my my little my little pan pot thing <laughs> my brain is not working today you guys um it had like ridges all along the side so i was just making sure that i tucked in the crust to those ridges as well now I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to poke some holes to the bottom just to make sure that the crust can breathe properly. And I'm going to take a knife and I'm just going to cut off that excess dough. And take your time with this part. I tilt the knife a little bit um, on an uh, angle outward because I don't want to bend it inward and cut too much crust off. And for the filling, um, for my little my little pan that I had, I just basically used about two scoops. Um, you want to make sure that you're getting a little bit of everything inside of there. Or if you're working with someone that just wants seafood, no sausage, make it yours, you know? After I filled it up, I'm going to take some just some regular water on a brush. And I'm just going to brush those edges just to make sure that when I put on the top layer, it's going to seal really nicely and not have any cracks so that the um, the filling will leak out. 
Now I take my top layer and I just press it in, press it into those ridges as well, making sure that everything is nice and sealed. And take your time with this part because at this point the dough is probably going to be a little bit more warmer. So just take your time to really, you know, make sure that everything is just sitting down really nice and flush. And with the ridges, I just use my fingers, just, just press those in. And same thing again with the knife. Just taking it on like an outward slant and just taking away all of that extra pie crust. This recipe is really simple, you guys. Probably the most simple one that I've done when it comes to um, baking stuff with like pies and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna take my sharp knife and I'm just gonna do a little X on top of the top, and that's just to let the um, the the filling like breathe a bit, so that it doesn't just come bust and go everywhere, you know. I'm gonna take a little bit of egg wash. This was just one egg with some water inside of it, and I'm just gonna brush it on top of the pie crust, and this is just to get everything nice and golden brown. Um, try not to let too much of the egg wash collect in like the little ridges. You're gonna see with mine, I had a little bit too much in each ridge, so it turned a little bit darker than everywhere else. Now I'm just gonna put that inside of the oven for about one hour or so on, 100, on 350 degrees. And this was the finished product. I'm just gonna brush it with some garlic butter on the crust. And I sprinkled a little bit of parsley, you know, the vibes for the razzle dazzle. And that was it, you guys. This was so quick and easy, and it was so yummy. My boyfriend did not let me get any, like, clips of me handing it off to him. He literally, like, I had it on the counter just waiting for one second, and he, like, busted it open. It was so hilarious because we just, like, watched each other, like, okay, like, are you that hungry? <laughs> but, like I said, this was super quick and easy. If you guys have any questions, do not forget to comment and ask them. I try to respond to everyone as quick as I can when I see them. If you're new here, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Welcome to the family. I hope you, I hope you guys stay around forever. Turn on your post notifications so that you never miss a video. And thank you guys so much. Bye.